From virtual reality to slime making, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History is pulling out all the stops. First edition's Battle of Salinas is live with how to get involved with the STEM Day by the Bay. Madeline, good morning. Good morning, Barbie. There's going to be a lot of people here at the Museum of Science and History uh, to help kids learn about STEM. And one of those organizations, one of the organization's leaders is joined with me this morning. Thank you so much for being here, Stephanie. For people that may not know about your organization, what is it called and what is it all about? So this one's for the gals is a nonprofit organization working to help girls with career exploration and workforce development. We focus on construction, energy and manufacturing. And we like to say we talk to girls about careers that not very many people talk to girls about. Everything from skilled trades to STEM and everything in between. And then you were telling me before we got on camera about how you know the organization came to be. Tell me, tell me about that. It really started from a very small idea. I had to get some girls to a conference. It's held in Galveston where they can learn about these different careers. And I ended up, you know, I th initially thought I could get 10 or 12 girls, but when I was said and done, I got over 200 girls to that conference. And so I knew I was onto a little bit bigger conversation at that point. Wanted to do something here locally, which we did. We had our own Women in Industry Conference in March of 2023. Outgrew our original venue the very first year, moved to a bigger one this year, and it is continuously growing. And you're continuing to spread, you know, that knowledge and, and inspiration to young girls all over the coastal bend, right? You have something behind us that people can expect to experience this weekend. Do you want to kind of, let's start on this side and tell us what, what people can expect to do and what demonstrations there's going to be. Right, so we're going to be hosting two, uh, two workshops this weekend um, on Saturday, and it's going to be um, based on the electrical trade and electrical engineering. They're going to come together. They're going to learn, um, you know, how does electricity work? And then they're going to build this project right here. It's a little charging station, and we're just, they get to go home with it. It, and so they can plug in their smart devices, their iPads, their iPhones, and it's really just to get them an opportunity to learn about STEM and then go home with the project. Awesome, and if you could just pan this way, Jeremy, I mean, look at all the great, you got, you got what is it, safety glasses, you got different outlet uh, covers, they even have a book. F before we head out, can you tell us about this children's sure. book? So we've started um, a line of women in industry children's books, and it really just highlights women that are out there doing these roles, because we want to start as early as we can helping girls see themselves, you know, in these careers. So as early as elementary, we want to kind of light that spark and just kind of help them, you know, think about their future careers. Yeah. And then right before we head out, you know, what are you most looking forward to? This is such a great organization, and I think a lot of people don't know about it. What are you most excited for? So while, you know, this one's for the gals, focuses on girls, our workshops this weekend is for boys and girls. And as a mom to twin boys myself and a daughter as well, I'm really excited to see the boys there this weekend and just kind of, you know, seeing them work together. So that's what I'm excited about. Awesome. Well, thank you again so much for joining us. Guys, coming up, we have some more information coming up in our next segment. I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio.